All right, I'm going to discuss a little bit about mean standard deviation and standard error. Uh, these are, uh, even from laboratory one, they, uh, uh, they discuss this in, in I, uh, it, you get a lot of equations and, and you generate some numbers, but I thought I would uh, try to explain a little bit what these numbers mean and uh, uh, this was the best way I, I thought of doing it. Uh, so I'm gonna discuss mean standard deviation and standard error, error, error as it's uh, taught by um, David Lloyd in uh, Physics Laboratory Manual, fourth edition. Let me get it there on the screen. Uh, that's what I'm using as a, as a text. So from the, the general laboratory information, it's not even laboratory one, it's just the uh, general laboratory information that he gives at the beginning. He gives us equations for uh, getting the mean X bar, which is just uh, you sum up all the X's. Uh, you, in, in the case we're gonna use, we have four measurements. So you add up all four and you divide, uh, that's what this notation means. Uh, you sum, uh, X1, X2, X3, X4, um, and then you divide by the number N, which is four. Uh, so you sum up all the values, divide by four, and you get your mean value. Uh, that's something a lot of y'all uh, know already. Uh, but then we get to the standard deviation. And to get the standard deviation, the sigma N uh, minus one, that's equal to the square root of uh, one divided by n minus one. In other words, whatever we're gonna sum, we're gonna divide it by three in this case, if our n is four. And what you do is you, you, you subtract um, the mean from x1 uh, and square it. Then you add the mean, uh, I'm sorry, then you subtract, a, let me back up. Uh, you take the, um, you subtract the mean from X1 and square it. Add to that the mean subtracted from X2 and square it and so forth for X3 and X4. Um, and then, so that gives you the standard deviation. Well, what does the standard deviation mean? Well, all of your data, it, here it's a little difficult to show uh, because there's only four data points, but when you have a lot of data, data points, you can see this. 68.3% uh, of your data should fall within one standard deviation on either side of the mean. 95.5% of your data points should fall uh, between plus and minus two standard deviations from the mean. And then finally, 99.73, almost all of your data will be within three standard deviations of the mean. Uh, so that's what standard deviation is. And then the standard error is this equation four is the standard error alpha is equal to the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. In this case, uh, the square root of four, which is two. You take your standard deviation and divide it by two. Um, so these are the formulas that are used. And then in laboratory one, uh, problem three, uh, he gives a little example. And uh, he's got Abe, Barb, and Cal. These are three students that have taken measurements uh, you can see that there's four measurements here uh, that Abe took, um, four measurements that Barb took, and uh, four measurements that Cal took. And right now, it, it, it's just a lot of numbers. It's hard to visualize uh, what, what we're looking at. Um, these are the averages of those four numbers for each student. And here's the standard deviation. And here is the uh, standard error. Uh, so, okay, we can see we can see okay, the uh, Cal here has the largest standard deviation. Uh, so, what are we expecting? We're expecting his 
his data to be kind of wide, uh, the smaller standard deviation is Barb and say, oh, okay, well, she must have some good data. She's got a very low standard deviation. Is that necessarily true? We'll see that. And then Abe, he has a, a 0 0.0046. Uh, he has some pretty, pretty good data. Uh, and we'll see, we'll see who, who gets it best. Okay, so um, the alpha, the standard error, well, well, we'll see both. We see that both Abe and Barb, they have uh, 0, 0, 0, 2, point 0, 0, 0, 2. And then Cal has a point zero 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 five. Well, we saw that his standard deviation was larger than either Abe's or Barb's. Uh, so, you know, we might be able to tell something from that. And then we also learn that the actual length of, of the table as determined by sophisticated laser uh, measurement techniques is 1.4715. Oh, well, it looks like Abe came very close to that. Barb, well, she's, you know, a little a little high on her measurements. Cal is pretty close, but uh, he's the one with the large standard deviation. So let's what, see what this looks like on a graph. Um, I mean, this is a graph of my own making. It's not a distribution of the of the data. Well, it sort of is, but here the the blue these blue lines, I know it's a little cluttered, but I thought it would it would be best if we look at all on one graph. You can see that um, this is the blue lines are Abe's data. The blue dots are Abe's data. Um, this is the mean, and this is the mean plus one standard deviation. This is the mean minus one standard deviation. And you can see, so it's pretty, it's pretty close. Uh, and the red line here is the actual measurement as given here, the 1.4715. You can see 1.471, 1.472. So the 1.4715 uh, is right there in between. When you see Abe got it pretty close to the actual measurement. Um, so his data is pretty good. His standard deviation is good. His standard error uh, was uh, whatever it is, 0 0.0002. Uh, if I recall correctly, and uh, so Abe looks like he's he's doing pretty well. Get got very close to the actual measurement. Barb Barb has a very low uh, standard deviation, but she missed the measurement by quite a bit. You can look at this is the actual measurement in red. Barb is way up here, um, and now Cal. Well, Cal got close to the uh, actual measurement, but his data look at look at the spread look at the standard deviation on his his is pretty wide and that's why his standard error was higher than both barbs and uh abes so this is a visualization now what do i have here what have i really plotted these four are the data points uh the fifth uh, dot here is the mean of each one and then the the next data is the uh, mean minus one standard deviation. So you can see that here, here, and here. And then this one is uh, the mean plus one standard deviation. So that's that's how I plotted these. That's how I came up with, with these. And I just drew these lines. The dashed lines are the standard deviation lines. The solid line is the average. And the red is the, um, the uh, the actual value of the uh, actual length of the uh, of the data. I've even got a little legend here. The, uh, the trials are one through four. Um, the average uh, is data five. Average standard. Uh, and uh, you know, I should have just written this as standard deviate. Oh no, uh, five is the average uh, minus the standard deviation. And six is the average um, plus the standard deviation. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, that's seven. So uh, one through four is the trial. Uh, five is the five is the average. This, these points are the average. These points are the average minus the standard deviation, and these points are the average plus standard deviation. So I hope this helps you visualize uh, 
what these numbers mean. You get a whole bunch of formulas that he gives you, and then you see the table of of uh, of data. And this this chart, I hope, helps you understand what these numbers actually mean. Um, you may have already understood this, and this information is superfluous, but hopefully it'll it'll clear the um, information for someone. Okay, uh, that, that's it.